I know as a country we are capable of uh, allowing or doing a lot of things, but I never expected that we will get to a point where uh, the Jubilee House suddenly turns into an area where, uh, you know, diaspora entertainers will walk into and, and literally uh, fly drones. And if you know the area uh, of Jubilee House, Jubilee House is supposed to be one of the areas that aircrafts at a certain height, you know, uh, aircraft cannot go, you know, in, in some of these areas. It, it, you want to define it as a no-flight zone. So to that extent, if you as a media person, you dared uh, to fly a drone or something for news purposes into the area, chances are that they will shoot it down and whoever it belongs to will be prosecuted. And so, and this is not only limited to Ghana, it is, it is everywhere. Because that is a seat of government. That is a seat of the executive, where you have the first and the second gentleman where they reside, where you would usually would have our cabinet ministers, I think they are about 19, all of them, in, in one meeting, usually, at, at this particular location. So it's supposed to be a heavily fortified place. It, there is a good reason why, if you have no business, around Jubilee House, you can only go in front, but you cannot drive around Jubilee House. If you are not actually going, uh, you know, to do something around, you know, inside one of those locations at Jubilee House. So for me, it's despicable. If you ask me, it is, it is almost like those who are supposed to take care of our, uh, you know, president's security, those, the state protocol, the, those presidential security offices, actually didn't know what they were doing. Because if they did, they will not allow uh, such a thing to happen. It's, it's happened, and he left. He's gone. I believe he's out of the country. He's edited it. And, and the funny thing is that it is the edited portions of whatever he took that we are talking about. What we haven't seen, you and I cannot talk about it. We can only speculate. It is what he has uh, put out there that we are talking about. But if, if Ghanaians, ordinarily, I have gone to the Jubilee House a couple of times for official meetings and all that, sometimes involving the president himself. You need to go through, you know, several uh, protocols before you are checked in uh, to sit and wait, and you go to wait when the president, before the president comes. And so to have these people dress in racks, dress in racks, as if we have no morals, as if we don't know what we are doing. First of all, we saw images of them meeting the president in not so suitable, you know, apparel. And we spoke about it. Then we are hit with, you know, still and motion or moving videos. Then you ask yourself, how did this happen? And I would have wanted to see that some persons are punished heavily because this is a no-no if you ask me.